And I'm back. Hello, everyone. I'm Jefferson J. Thacker, also known as Param, and I'm here to tell you all about a free application called Path Builder 2E for your Android phones that make it super quick and simple to build Pathfinder 2 characters. This is the best software for Pathfinder on the market right now, and it's completely free. You all need to get it, and if you don't want to run it on your phones, you can also run it on your Windows PCs, and I'll show you how in this video. When you download this app, just get on the Play Store, search for Path Builder 2E. You might also see Path Builder 1E. The first edition version is also fantastic. First edition players out there, go check that out. Now I have to admit, I'm a bit of a Luddite. But when I'm making my characters, I often reach for the two simple things. Pencil and paper. Not this paper. This paper. This is the character sheet that I created for Pathfinder 2. You can download it completely for free, nodirectionpodcast.com. Just click on the KD Makes tab at the top, and you'll see a lot of free resources we have for the game. You know, free just like Path Builder. We didn't make Path Builder. We just love it. Now, why did I start using Path Builder? Because I've heard my friends rave about it. All of the players that have been showing up for my Pathfinder Society game have just been loving this app, both for first edition, when we were still playing that, and now that we've all transitioned over to playing Pathfinder second edition, it really is top of the charts. To get Path Builder, all you have to do is go to the Google Play Store on your Android device. And if you don't have an Android device, you can actually use Path Builder on your PC by downloading an Android emulator. My favorite emulator is the one you're seeing here, which is BlueStacks. So once you have either your Android device or you have your Android emulator, just go to the Play Store and search for Path Builder 2E by David Wilson, Red Razors, and you can just install it from here. Then you launch the app and you're gonna notice a couple of things. Super easy, simple interface. Create a character, load a character. Uh, it will be app supported down here at the bottom, but you can donate to get rid of that app, uh, the advertisement window. That said, that is the tiniest advertisement window I've ever seen on one of these free apps, so I'm not too concerned about it. Anyway, cut up, make the new character. I'm going to go ahead and punch through a very quick version of Glanville from Adventurous. And I'm sure he would appreciate being updated to second edition. So, first thing you select, class wizard. Next. And you are also going to go and be able to set some options. So, you can set some basic health rules here. Separate the adventure kit and the items. Uh, auto save the character. I recommend keeping this on, honestly. Uh, and show warnings when you're building. Also good to make sure you're doing things right. You can also do a quick house rule that lets half orc and half elves available for all ancestries, which is a pretty common house rule. Uh, this has actually been expanding as the app's been going, so I expect this to keep getting changes. Uh, and speaking of changes, look at the books. He keeps this thing updated constantly. Uh, the book is barely out for a few weeks before we see it added to this list. Uh, the only book as of time of recording that's not on here is Gods and Magic, and that technically doesn't come out for a couple more days. Now, you have to name your character Glanville, of course. And I can better spell my own name right. Class Wizards Ancestry, Glanville is a human. Ba uh, background, Barkeep. No! Glanville is a noble. Very noble blood. Then, of course, you've got to worry about your ability boosts. Uh, let's see here. Intelligence, because always intelligence. Glanville is a very smart man. He is also a very charismatic man. Intelligence again. More charisma! Class boost, intelligence, four boosts, intelligence, charisma, wisdom, and dexterity. Uh, allow voluntary flaws because Glenville is not a very strong person. Dump that dexterity a little bit and get my charisma up to 18. Dual 18 character here. Finish. Then, of course, you select your skill trainings. You'll just click through this. Uh, of course, Glenville is arcana. Deception, diplomacy, and knows all the things. He knows all the things. I want to get a uh, society because I got noble, and crafting because I imagine I'm going to be making the scrolls eventually, and it would be good to be able to keep our gear up and going. Plus, those of you keeping up to date and adventurous knows that I've got some costumes to build. Finally, select your ancestry feat, and uh, I'm going to be a bit of a power gamer and go with natural ambition because it's always great to have more class feats. Reach spell is one of the best spells for wizards, so I recommend highly taking that if you are not going if you're not going to take a familiar. Familiar is also awesome, but Glanville doesn't have a familiar as of the uh, uh, and 
Glenville doesn't have a familiar, so we're just going to skip that. Finally, select like the heritage. He is a versatile heritage because, again, I want more feats. And then I'm going to take uh, the arcane sense. No, no. Glanville's not going to be able to survive uh, with such low wisdom and get into initiative, so I'm going to go with incredible initiative. He needs it. Finally, arcane skull. Uh, Glanville's an illusionist. If you've been paying attention to the show, that's all he loves to do. So, of course, illusionist is where we are going. Arcane Thesis. Uh, spell Substitution. He's an academic scholarly type, so he's going to hit the books. And then we've got... Well, that's it for uh, first level. See, we just made a first level Glanville. And then as we level him up, we have to go to about, set his level to 5. And as we level him up, we would be able to just keep going down through here. We'll get some cantrip expansions. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got some more skill feats. He is he is definitely a charming liar. Then we're going to go to uh, some more skill increases. Uh, of course, his, uh, he pays attention to his arcana first of all, but diplomacy is what I'm going to keep increasing as well. Then we're going to get another skill feat. Let's go with arcane sense. Because he is having to rely more and more on that lately uh, in order to find out if there's any magical shenanigans. And really, you just keep clicking through here. It's red if you need to click it, and it's black if you're good there. And all you have to do is just keep punching out a character. And I just really love this. It is one of my favorite apps, and it just handles it beautifully. Uh, when you're over, it's time to go over into gear, you just add your stuff here and defense, offense, gear, and it tells you what actions you can use with your skills, how you do those actions when you click on them. It's a great reference during play. Uh, for spells, here's a little bit of a trick. Um, in order to add things to your spell book, click on one of these slots and you'll see a list of spells. To get it in your spell book, just click this little spell book icon. I actually got a little tricked up on that at first. And anyway, just accept that, and you'll see all of his spell slots are right here. And any pets, if I had that familiar, uh, this would be where it would go. But it looks like this is uh, only available for the upgrade, and the upgrade is five bucks. And that is a one-time fee of five bucks. I say it's definitely worth it. When you're done with Glanville, he's not actually fully statted out. But if I were having fully statted out, you can go to export PDF, but you also can see that you can do some custom things to your character here. So you're not strictly limited to a by the book interpretation. If you've worked with your GM, if you've gotten some special rewards during play, it all works. Then you click on export the PDF and then you can indeed export the character either in character sheet format or stat block format. Anyway, it's completely free. The upgraded version gets you a few bonus things and gets rid of the ads, and that's only five bucks. You can run it on your PC with an emulator. You can run it on Android. Go out and check out this app. It's amazing.